Okay, so we're in the process of making this um, sort of end game object that displays a final widget with all our final results on. Um, we set up the widget, um, now we need to just make it uh, actually work. So, okay, what we're going to do is first we'll go back to the end game widget. Um, sorry. Um, we're going to start with a score. So click on the text for the actual score. I'm just going to display the result. And we're going to come over here um, to where it says text. And we're going to create a binding. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do, if you remember, we have actually already done this to create the score in the first place. Okay. So that is going to be, for me, um, it's our timer widget, which if you remember has our actual score on, okay, which was this. So if you find that on yours, where you've actually got the HUD where it displays your score, um, you'll see that you've got text already hooked up to um, a binding. In this case, the one I've got it hooked up to is called get text zero. All right, so what we can do when you're in here, Go over to graph, okay, and find your get text zero or whatever yours is called, okay. Bear in mind that yours might be called something different, okay. If it's not open already along the top here, then your functions are all over here, so you can double click the one you want to open it, all right. And you already have the blueprint for what you need this to do to display, okay. So you just essentially just need to copy this. So if I go back to my end game widget, and I can switch between my timer widget, and my end game widget. Okay, so I can nice and easily just copy what I've done. So it's cast a third person character. That's in there. Get player character from here. Um, total coins. Uh, get total coins. Um, and then hook that to there. Okay, you can see that's exactly the same. Okay, so just bear in mind, obviously, if you've called any of your variables something different to me, um, these might be slightly different. Don't worry about that. As long as you're following the same process, it should work. All right, so I'll compile that, lower this down, push play, so I can run around, get a score. Okay, so I've got two coins, run over here, my end game screen comes up with my final score being two. Okay, um, just test it, just okay, so I've got one this time, final score one. Okay, so it's always going to display whatever your final score is. All right, so let's move on to the time remaining one. You can probably guess what we're going to do. Um, load up our timer widget again. Um, remember, it keeps your tabs up here from things that you've got open already. Um, so I want to go back to my end game widget. And I want to go back to the designer, which is this. And I want to come into time remaining and click on the text for what I want to display the time remaining. Okay, so come over to text again and create binding. Okay, I'm going to create a binding for this. Go over to my uh, my main widget, which is called my timer widget at the moment. Go back to the designer here, and then you can see at the moment I've got two text blocks for showing the time. Okay, so I need to repeat that in my end game widget. All right, so at the moment we only have one. Um, so I'm going to click on the first one. Look at the binding for that, which is get minutes text one. Okay, go over to graph, find my get minutes text one. Okay, because I know it's going to be the same. And I can repeat this process. OK, 
Okay, so this is the one that's showing the minutes. Um, <clears throat> so, cat player, sorry, cast to, check if I can see, third person character, <clears throat> get player character, that should be target minutes, yeah. Get, get. Uh, not well what's happened. Come on. Okay. Sometimes it's trouble finding. What I'm going to do is select it, control copy that, come back to this one, and just paste it in. Uh, okay. Okay. That's me being silly. It's cast to third person game mode, not character. Sorry. Cast it to <coughs> third person game mode. That's because that's where the variables are. <coughs> and get game mode. Okay. And hook those up. Okay, and we can see we've got exactly what we've got there. So I can compile that. Can I come over to the designer? So this is the designer for my end game one. And if you remember, I've only got one text block here, um, whereas I need two. It's only one for minutes and one for seconds. So I'm going to get another text block, drop it in there. Um, don't have to change it to zero zero zero. I'm going to anyway. And then I'm going to create a new binding for you. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my main widget again. Go to the designer. And what I want to do is repeat what I had for the seconds. So I know that's get seconds text two. Go to graph. Get seconds text two. Um, so I can repeat this, which is basically what I've already done. So it's get um, uh, cast to third person game mode, get game mode, uh, get the seconds, and hook it up. Okay, which is a match of that. So compile that, and that actually should be everything. So if I play now, I can get a score, two. I can come over to here, and then it shows me my final score and the time that I had remaining. All right, so at the moment the time remaining reads 0, 1, 4. It doesn't make much sense, so actually, Come back to my uh, end game widget, so the design of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another text block. Um, I put it in this horizontal box, but I want it in between those two because it's just literally going to be one of these, one of these guys. Okay, let's put it in between there so it, it looks, it looks. It makes more sense. We'll see in a second. So if I now went over here, where it says time remaining, it looks like you can tell what's minutes and what seconds there. Okay. Um, so if you remember, if you wanted to change that kind of stuff, then you need to go into the variables for um, the minutes and seconds, which were stored in. It was in the game mode, wasn't it? That was in game mode. So yeah, I want to add on a one minute and twenty seconds. So compile that. Okay, I've now got a minute and twenty seconds up there. Okay, time remaining. All right, so that's just a way to um, get an end sort of game screen that actually shows you some final results. Um, again, they can be um, whatever you want. You could even try and have it instead of time remaining. 
you could have that as time taken, um, which would be a little bit more complicated because you're going to have to do a bit of uh, maths to calculate how much time was taken and how much is left. Um, but time remaining is fine. Um, and again, obviously, I'm just doing the mechanics, but you could um, do much more with this actual widget to make it look cool. Okay, but that's it really. Um, so I'll end there.